Welcome to Story Time with Sonia Panda. Curious George, Dinosaur Tracks. George was curious about animal tracks. He took photos of raccoon, frog, and squirrel tracks. Wow, said Bill. You have almost every local animal except the fawn. Come on, I'll show you where to find it. A fawn is a baby deer. It would make the perfect photo. Bill took George to the place he saw the fawn. Good luck, he said. After I finish fixing the path, I'm going swimming in the lake. George looked for fawn tracks. The first track he found was from a slithery garter snake. Then he found duck and frog tracks. They both have webbed feet. That must be why they are good swimmers. George saw that fish do not leave any tracks. Then George found the biggest tracks he had seen yet. Could the tracks be from a giant snake with duck feet? George followed the tracks. They ended at the lake. George had an idea. He had seen these tracks in a book. They were dinosaur tracks. He made a trail of food back to his house. Maybe the dinosaur would come out to eat. Then George could take a photo. But wait. George went home to look at the book. Some dinosaurs eat meat. Uh-oh. Maybe they would eat him. George went back to the water. He saw the tracks were now coming out of the lake. The tracks were headed toward Bill's house. George had to warn Bill. I guess those do look like dinosaur tracks, Bill said. But I made the tracks. I went swimming with my flippers. I had my rake, too. George was happy that Bill left the tracks. A hungry dinosaur would be scary. George still wanted a special photo. The trail of food that led to the lake was still there. Suddenly, the fawn showed up to eat the food with the mama deer. It was the perfect picture to complete George's collection, even if it was not a dinosaur. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Story Time with Sonia Panda to listen to more stories with me. Take care, friends.